Welcome back to Appliance Educator, and this episode we are going to start a new project, and it's going to take some time uh, over a couple episodes, but we're going to start by restoring this little barbecue that I found in my backyard when I bought my new house. And we're going to use some products by our friend Barry from Barry Restorations, and this is the barbecue exterior interior cleaner. Um, they make some really cool products, uh, Scratch Be Gone and other things to polish and really fine tune your stainless steel appliances, outdoor kitchen appliances. So uh, let's get started by showing you what's in this kit first. So like I said, this is the exterior and interior set for barbecues. So it comes with a couple mini scrubbers. This is for your hard to reach places. Um, your, your main scrubber comes with a couple different pads for scrubbing as well. These are non-woven and uh, there's two different grades. So this is for your light duty, this is for your heavy duty. Uh, so brown heavy duty, gray light duty. And then a scraper, which is great, uh, and grill grate degreaser, and the magic Ultra Shine. This is what we're going to mostly use today. Um, so let's show you how to get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by hooking up our light duty pad to the scrubber. And this just fits right on these little horns here. Pull it in and then lock it in place. These aren't super fragile, but if you do try to tug on them a little too much, they, they will rip the holes and then you'll be scrubbing by hand. Okay, and now the next step is take the Ultra Shine and we're gonna do an S pattern onto our scrubber. So we'll start There's a, a little tab in there. Make sure you pull out the paper tab, otherwise nothing's gonna come out, like just happened to me. All right, so again, we're gonna take our, our Ultra Shine and our scrubber, and we're gonna do a nice S pattern along I guess that's more of an E, but you get the idea. So now we're gonna go take a little section of our stainless steel barbecue and we're gonna give it some scrubs. And you wanna do this in a straight line. I mean, that's getting it off there pretty easily. I'm barely putting any pressure onto this. Now, if I want to get a little more pressure, I can probably get it all off. And I have no idea how long this barbecue has been sitting out, um, but I can tell you that I have lived in my house for about eight months now, and I haven't touched it from being outside in that amount of time. And that was winter into spring. Let's uh, take a microfiber rag and kind of give this a nice wipe down and see what we're left with. I mean, it's pretty good. You can see all the gunk that came off um, for, what did we do that? 30 seconds, a minute, a couple minutes, maybe max. So you can see how easily this will restore back to a really nice stainless steel polish. Um, so let's, I'm gonna give it some more love right now and then we'll come back and see kind of what uh, a full back end will look like when we're done with this.
All right, so I did some scrubbing with the Ultra Shine. Um, so the concept of this is to kind of scratch it with the minerals that are in the scrubber brush. And then this kind of polishes on top of that and fills in those cracks. And then that kind of makes it a whole new kind of top. It fills in those cracks and fills it in. Um, so, but one thing I noticed while we we're cleaning this is it's not really getting off what it looks like old grease marks in there. Um, so in the kit, we have a grill and grate degreaser. So let's give this a shot. Let's check and see if there's a protective cover in there. Nope, looks good. And what we're gonna do is just give it a little spray. There it is, there's the safety release. and uh, see what this stuff can do. So with the microfiber towel, I think we we're gonna need something a little stronger to bristle that with. So um, let's use our bristle pad, huh? All right. I have no idea how long that's been on there. Could have been a decade. But um, doesn't seem to come off too easily with either one of those, but maybe we need to let this sit on there a little longer, let the degreaser absorb into it, and then scrub it. So let's give that a shot and see what happens. So I'm going to let this sit for a couple minutes and then uh, we'll catch you back and give it another scrub and see what happens. And we're back. <laughs> I ran to the kitchen and grabbed one of the toughest bristled pads I could find. We've been letting this uh, grill and grate degreaser sit on these grease stains and uh, I'm going to give it some, some power scrubs here with this bristle because I'm not scared about scratching it because of this ultra shine that we can go back over it once we get it really polished down and cleaned. Um, the Scratch Be Gone really did a nice job on there and I'm not worried about scratching this, is up, this up again and redoing the shine on. So uh, let's try to get this old grease off, huh? Oh yeah, that's scratching it up, nice. Well, definitely scratched it a little bit more than I thought it would, but Hey, we got the Scratch Be Gone Ultra Shine, so we'll just run it on that again and get rid of these scratches, huh? bad for a couple of minutes of scrubbing. I mean, you might not be able to tell in camera, but these scratches were pretty deep and I did a nice job of, you know, shining it back up to where they're pretty unnoticeable to the eye unless you really get an angle with the light but that's hard to see and it did a really good job. All right, so check out Barry's Restoration. We'll put a link in the description below. Um, makes all sorts of products. The Scratch Be Gone is really the, the number one here for getting scratches out of uh, all your stainless steel appliances. Um, we're gonna continue to work on this barbecue. I'm gonna try to spruce it up as best as I can and maybe see if I can resell it for a, a nice little profit. Um, I mean, honestly, everything's going to be a profit because I found it in my backyard. But yeah, stay tuned. We're going to keep working on this project and we'll show you some new tips and tricks with Barry's restoration as we go through this uh, restoration of this old barbecue. So like, subscribe, and we'll check you out next time.